My accent is no accident podcast. I'm your host, Maritza Perez, and we are here today with a very special person, a very incredible individual, and she's very special to me and to many people that know her, Audrey Arby. She's a born mystic, intuitive, now clairvoyant, hiker, empath, artist, author, mostly raw vegan, course creator and dancing through her eighth yes. decade <laughs> now <laughs> is her time she is the transformation goddess of light and she will be explaining what that means audrey had her own live public access tv show for which she was honored with an inspirational award Brooklyn born. Now she's exploring Costa Rica. Audrey paints gorgeous frequency stones that can both center you as well as raise your frequency and beautifies your space. Shifts brain waves, higher, and many other things. Audrey, it is an honor to have you today with us. Thank you, Maritza. It is such an honor to be here. I feel, I mean, so honored. I love you. Thank you so much. I love you too. I was very happy when I got your email. And I am really looking forward to this amazing conversation. But before we go farther, I would like to ask you a question. My theme question. Audrey, what is your accent and why is not an accident? Okay, so many people tell me they can tell that I am from New York. I am. <laughs> I was born in Brooklyn. The family left when I was eight years of, of being on the earth. I was raised on Long Island. And then when I finished college, I went zoop right back to the city. And for anyone who doesn't know, when someone there says the city, that means Manhattan. <laughs> and I lived there. That's what it means. You say the city, that's Manhattan. It, it, yeah. Nothing else, okay? And I lived there for many years. So is it any accident that I might sound like that? I doubt it. And although I spent years also in Florida, um, and now I am actually in Costa Rica, Yo hablo español como eso, muy despacio, y no como costarriqueño, pero un poquito. And um, people can tell, you know, they don't always know I'm an American, but some can. And yeah. so is my accent an accident? No, it is part of where I've been, and I've been other places, and what I do. That's That's it. Uh, amazing and I love it and you've been in many places too around your life and have known many cultures different people and one of the things that uh, um, the two of us talked in the beginning when we met was how you uh, being born uh, mystic and how that happened can you tell us a little <laughs> bit about your story there Okay, so I tell people if they need to know or ask that I'm a born mystic intuitive. To me, being the little kid in Brooklyn, I didn't have these words. They, 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 they were not, and especially then. But I think a certain way, I do things a certain way. I learned years later, that's a mystic intuitive and all of that. So that's what I am. I'm also a clairvoyant and a healer and an empath and all the stuff that I am, okay? And it keeps growing. Now I'm a journeyer, which we all are. And not just physically, when I can, on the earth, 
I am a spiritual journeyer and uplifter and explorer of whatever this thing is called life. And now that I read some of the stuff by Nassim Harriman, this man writes physics. I'm a metaphysician. And it takes me a moment to read through his stuff. But it's amazing. Amazing. Um, and what it is for me to be a mystic intuitive, I know stuff. I can intuit things. I know stuff. I know how to tune in. I mean, I have studied, by the way. I have studied my craft and my science and my art to get better and better. So whomever you are that is listening and watching, whatever your gifts and talents are, please enhance them by studying and practicing them. And will you be perfect at the beginning? No, you won't. That's all right. That's why practice. And will you be perfect forever and onward? And No, no. Life is a journey. And part of what it is, is experimenting and taking the best. That's the smart part. <laughs> okay, <laughs> leaving the rest, learning, acknowledging that, rebalancing energetically, which is part of what I do with clients and myself, and myself, because many people I have discovered uh, have some concern about acknowledging the part of them that one of my friends calls the shadow side. And if we don't acknowledge that, you're not going to move forward because it'll come and bite you. I was going to say bite you in the butt. Well, so I will say that. And then if that's not appropriate, we can just let it go. <laughs> because everyone has that. And, and I'm going to say virtually everyone, because unless one is so, 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 so high in frequency, and I evolve on this, okay, and I've been doing this for quite a while, we're still on the earth domain. And there's a lot of talk going on now about the two earths, the new earth that we're creating and the current earth. And for those of you who may not know what it is, I'll give a little bit of an explanation and different people have different explanations. Like, are there going to be two separate Earths? Is it one of the and all that? <laughs> so my way of looking at this, because yes, I have asked those questions also, is that the more you raise your frequency, and I will do a breathing attunement fairly soon to help you do that. The more one does that and is willing to release, make peace with, shift, whether I whether it's genetic karmic patterning, which is the language the guides gave me, God, it was in the mid nineties, um, to release the stuff that a person has taken on both through their uh, antecedents, whoever they came from genetically, as well as what you might have been in what I will call past lives, other frequencies, because we've been many, many, many different kinds of beings. And no, we don't die when we have death, okay? Our spirit continues. That's a whole other conversation. But our spirit does continue. The body does whatever it does, depending on who you are. Uh, but the spirit continues. So we've been many, many other things. I need water. This is water, okay. by the way. It's my Kangen water. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> Hold on. I can't get this. Oh, here she's still. <laughs> Stainless steel, ecological. And that is um let's let's tell the audience what that water is. Oh, Congo water? Okay, I am I'm into health. I'm into health in a major, major, major way for many, 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 many years. Um so when I learned about this water, it's by a company called Enagic, E-N-A-G-I-C. And it's I have the water machine, the SD501. And it makes certain kinds of water. The water that I drink is a particular alkaline water. I drink 9.5 pH. And yes, I dragged it here to Costa Rica and <laughs> all of that. Yes, I did. Absolutely. And all of that because it's needed everywhere. I don't know how everybody... We knew years ago that plastic bottles were doing microplastics, which is not a good thing. And now it's, um, wait, they're cool. yeah, the really itty bitty 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 things, it's practically everywhere. It is, in, it's like yuck. Is it good for us? No. Is it good for our kids? No. So I use a water bottle and I have this little contraption because I have dropped the bottle on different occasions and, you know, glass. So it helps hold it together. 
and I get more bottles now and then as I need them. But this water, go to my website. I can give the, Audrey now, A-U-D-R-Y-E-N-O-W-W-A-T-E-R.com. So it's all, everything I do is Audrey now, A-U-D-R-Y-E-N-O-W, water, one word, dot com. Read about it. If you're interested, you can call me. Can I give my number? Yes, you can give your number. And um, even though I'm in Costa Rica, I have a U.S. SIM card because let's just say after experience, it's a lot easier. And so my number is 917-494-0628. And if you're in the States, it's like a local number to New York. So it isn't long distance to Costa Rica. It's um, so I have a U.S. SIM card. So it's like a local number there. And I will speak with you. But go to the website first so you can ask me questions that you actually have some information about. And I may as well just say this. So I'm in my eighth decade now, which blows my mind. OK, it really astounds me. And uh, it does. It just. Yes. Uh, uh. And so I can throw out numbers that I start laughing about because, I mean, it's almost ridiculous. And I've seen too many people literally harming themselves by what they eat or don't eat. And understand, I'm born under the sun sign of cancer, and we like to eat. I definitely enjoy food. And at different points in my life, when I was a teenager, I did not. My mother cooked great food, healthful, wonderful. I like sweets. Okay, and at the time it was sweets with white sugar because that's what we had and or brown sugar. Now I don't use that, haven't in many, many years. I sweeten with dates. It's still sweet, but it's the best I can find. I think it's better than agave and a few other things. And I read something that horrified me. Almost all food has disgusting things in it. So make sure you wash everything you can because there's just stuff on the planet right now. And if one can make stuff, and I'm a big chocolate fan, okay, and I am, I love chocolate. And here in Costa Rica, I use the actual cacao pod. Oh, how good. And they grow on a branch, they sort of line up. Yes. And so you you know that, right? Yes. That? yes. So I make stuff with that. And it's both delicious and I, because I make it with nuts, which with raw vegan nuts, by the way, raw organic nuts, you have to soak them first. There's some kind of ingredient in them, which I forgot what it's called, which makes them hard to digest. So you uh -huh. soak them. It is very different from nuts that are steeped in oil and salt and that. And yet, so whatever you can, spend the money and get the good stuff and learn how to use it properly. And you really, your health will continue. I don't have medical bills. I don't. I spend a lot of money on food. That is for sure. That is for sure. But I don't have medical bills. That's yeah. like amazing. But and I'm literally in my 80s. I mean, like, holy cow. I did have mega dental bills. And I also had coverage, like, yay, and a super good dentist. So does this stuff work? Yes. This water is very helpful if people are not hydrated and with water that's actually good for you then people get sick people can get sick and even pass away from dehydration and many people are dehydrated and don't know it because they're so used to it they think it's normal so i drink a lot i drink water a lot okay i don't yeah. do alcohol you can do alcohol i don't do alcohol and I personally love, oh God, I love this. I love coconut water because I'm in Costa oh. Rica. <laughs> I can get it very easily. Can't drink too much because it can have me go a little too much to the bathroom, which I'm not that fond of. So <laughs> I have to know it's true. You have to know your own body and you'll learn about it. Yes. So yes. I know how much I can drink per day and still maintain superb health. And I mean, the reason I say this, I've seen, I've seen too many people die. I'm sorry, just die and get sick. That, in my personal opinion, was completely preventable. Hmm. Did not have to happen. And 
I'm not saying I'm the perfect embodiment of anything. Please don't think that's what I'm saying because I'm not, okay? But I know how to do certain things. You can do it differently. I'm not saying you have to cl be a clone of me. You won't be able to anyway, and I wouldn't want you to be. You need to be what you are in the best way possible. But I've seen people literally kill themselves with their fork and spoon by what they eat. And if I hadn't changed my way of looking at food, when I was about 15, 16, you know, somewhere in my teens and then ongoingly, I wouldn't be here. And, and really you are wouldn't. taking care. Yes. When you are saying that you spend money on food, it's not like large amounts of food. You spend money on good quality food. Yes. And that yes. probably opens up a little bit of our next um, topic, which will be why is it important to be vegan? Ah! Okay, so I'm going to say I've read the stats on this. I can't give you the stats. I have a different kind of mind that memorizes all that stuff. But when I read, I've been ve I've been vegetarian <laughs> for over 50 years. Yeah, okay. And I've been mostly raw vegan. I still eat nut butters and I use organic oils and stuff like that. I do. Okay, but I've been mostly raw vegan for, I think it's 20 years, maybe 25 years. And when I read, and I've read it in numerous places, so you can Google this, okay, that if somebody is vegetarian at least one day a week, no meat, no fish, no chicken, no eggs, none, okay, and even no cheese for the one day a week, vegan, 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 it shifts climate change. Okay, it helps the planet clear and it helps climate change get less and less and less and less. And that includes not doubling or tripling up on meat, fish, chicken, or any of that stuff on the other days. No, whatever your norm is, do that. Don't do extra. Plus, which I need to say this, okay, because I don't know how to say this without saying this, because cows do pass gas. I said it nicely. <laughs> okay, they fart, and that's ammonia and meth not ammonia, methane. It's methane. Yes, it's that is it. horrendous. For the, for, it's it's yuck. Okay, for climate, it is not a good thing. It is not a good thing. So if everyone, if even ten percent of the people on this planet, so that makes you whoever is listening, don't go. No, I'll let them do it. No, you do it. You do it. We all have to take self responsibility. Do most of us want to? Frankly, no. Most of us don't want to, okay? Because it takes something. It means making the change. It means changing the mindset. Then it means changing the action and the behavior. And then it becomes how you live. And because I really am as attuned to the environment as I can be, I have been for years. I have four books. Four? And the one book that went into print was originally printed on 100% post-consumer recycled paper. Cost me a lot more money than that other stuff. And now all of my books are, uh, what do you call them? Ebooks, yes. PDFs. You can get them through my website and all of that. And yes, it's Audrey now. Everything on it's A-U-D-R-Y-E-N-O-W.com is the website. And that way, and I ask people who buy the books, I do, that if you choose to print it out, please buy the recycled paper that is also post-consumer recycled paper. I'm not saying print it out so then we're killing trees. In the printing of the first book, that is the print book, which is called, by the way, um, What If You Are... And life is miraculous. That's my ABC affirmation art coloring book. And I actually got an award. I got an award as ecological publisher. Oh. Which like blew my mind. Yes, yes, yes. Like, like, it's, yeah. and um, these things, I normally don't talk about a lot of that stuff because in my own way, I mean, I have, at this point in my life, I'm proud of myself. There's a lot more that I have intended to do that hasn't been done. I keep making peace with that more and more and more. I can't move forward. But you can't sit in life and regret because that brings inflammation and your energy goes down. And that's just not how to be. You fix yeah. what you can fix. You make peace as best you can. If there's yuck over here and this over there, at least create a balance. 
and then pick the good, okay? And go with that and keep handling the rest. Because if you sit and pummel on yourself, you're not doing anybody any good anywhere ever at all, period. Mm. It doesn't work. Mm -hmm. And the energy, the more we can bring that's love, and that means for real love, okay? It doesn't have to be sexual love. That's a, That could have to. But I mean, the, whatever the love is, the more you engage and upraise the frequency on the earth, the more you do it for yourself. And when you do that, that energy permeates the environment in which you live, even for people you don't know. Even mm -hmm. when you're walking in the street, and I can do that here in Costa Rica. New York City, it depends. Okay, Florida, it's usually okay, but again, depends. And smile and say hi or hola, como esta? All right, hi, how are you doing? Okay, yeah. and allow that energy to happen. You don't have to go beyond that if that's not what you want, but that energy up levels frequency, including your own. Uh -huh. And if you're going to ask, do I ever get upset, depressed, and yes, I am born under the sun sign of cancer. I have emotions galore. My ascendant is Aries. I have powerful emotions galore. So I have to take responsibility. Otherwise, I, I don't want to be an exploding mass of emotion. And have I been in the past? Yes, I have. I know what that's like. So it's up to each and every one of us who chooses to be and bring light to take our own personal, if you don't like the word responsibility, our own accountability with our own self. Yes. When I hear someone say they made me do it, nobody made you do it. It was always a choice, even if one didn't know better. When uh, Young of, Dr. Iyanla Van Sant, I believe is the one who says, when you know, maybe it was um, Dr. Maya Angelou, when you know better, you do better. Okay. It was yes. one of those amazing yes. women. And when you do know better, you do better. That's how you know you know it. It isn't just some words you say, blah, 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 because that's just, it's like affirmations. And yes. I do yes. them and I do prayer and I, I do stuff. If you don't feel it, inside it's not going to be the That's same yes. as if you actually feel it and emanate it and align with whatever it is you're asking to be and have oh that's beautiful that's really important yes when i look in the mirror which i don't have a mirror here where i live right now and where i'm going to soon be moving to really see myself but i don't look how i looked at 18 i don't even look how i looked at 35 55 70 i i look how i look so I had to, I chose to realign my definition of beautiful and sexy because I have chosen to be beautiful and sexy when I want to be, not all every minute, okay, throughout life. And if we yeah. only hold to a particular definition, what, you'll have it when you're 24 and then it's done? <clears throat> no, no, there's every different way to be. Uh -huh. I mean, a brunette, like our gorgeous Maritza. I don't really have purple hair. Okay. And no, all of the light. <laughs> okay. Or my stunning daughter, who is a blend of black and white. So she's got this gorgeous complexion. And all of this, that's one beauty. And she is, by the way, my daughter. Yes, I am a proud mama. Brilliant and gorgeous. And brilliant. Okay. That's what I put first. Because she is. Okay. Yes. And... If someone's a blonde, it's a different kind of beauty. If somebody is Asian or some kind of mix of whatever you might be, those are all different ways of understanding and perceiving beauty. And if someone says, what is the most beautiful? Not that, a beautiful heart. Yes. An up-leveled mentality, living from your soul, being authentic, having kindness, in fact, what I like to recommend for everyone, we will do a breathing attunement, is one, be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. And yes, be vegan one day a week, every week, without doubling. So you, you know, are part of healing the planet and yourself. Your health level will go up. Yes. And when I'm saying be vegan, don't eat God, I have to find a better word than the words I use. Don't, okay. 
don't eat garbage. I'm sorry. Okay. Yes. That's, that's... <laughs> <laughs> don't eat junk and garbage. Don't eat totally processed white flour. Don't eat that. Okay. If you want to eat it now and then go ahead, but that's not what's going to help you. It's not, it's not going to give you health and energy. In fact, that stuff pulls the B vitamins out of your body and then you can get depressed and wonder why am I depressed and I'm tired Ugh. because of that white flour and white sugar can do that. And there's a host of other things. So wow. eat somewhat healthfully. It's a journey to get there. I did not become raw vegan overnight at all. It was and, a process. And it's beautiful what you're saying. And I love what you're saying because, Audrey, you are the example of this. So it's not like you decided to one day come up with these words and like you say, blah, 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 talk about it. No, you are, you don't even look your age you look and you're 80 years old young i'm 81 and a half actually right at the moment <laughs> yes you're Go to the 82 you're young and your body and your mental health and your physical health is amazing because Thank the way you. you take care of you now not everybody needs to be raw vegan no but look what you're saying and i have tried it because um process yeah i have tried it before and actually that one day you feel super good you sleep better your mood the next day is better the, the same the, the day that you do it you don't you don't feel anything like super different but it's like the following day you feel like lighter happier even your skin looks better um do you you have a different glow. So yes, if you do it once one once a week, and like for instance, here I do it with my whole family. We oh, have good. yes, we have different meals that um only we we ate. We eat we eat arepa. So ah okay. Yes. So it's not it's not like white flour, but it's like organic and and we have um, organic, um, gluten, gluten-free uh, pancakes made from mm -hmm. oat from oatmeal. That's so, a really good thing. Yes. So there are many ways that you can do um, things without. You can prepare food without having to go to the meat for one for one day, from one day a, day a week. And it makes you feel better. Your digestive system kind of like resets. And the energy. Okay, go. go. The energy too, the energy changes. Look, I have, did I mention this book? I have a book called Vim Vigor Vitality. I had a kick, big kick out of writing the title. Vim Vigor Vitality Vegan, or as I call it, Vroom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> them, them, vigor, vitality, vegan, and then plus the Natchez Congo water specialties because the water really makes a difference. OMG. Okay. First half of the book is health information and wellness information. And yes, some energetic ways, or if you want to say spiritual, not religious. I'm not talking religious at all. Okay. That's your business. But because spirituality is global that's that's for anybody okay religion is for how you choose to do however that part might be so that's the first half of the book second half are recipes and because people at the time i was not yet then fully raw vegan when i put the book together well when my graphic designer put the book together i wrote it um I put in raw vegan recipes and I was not going to use the other ones the cooked ones and people said no you must use them because it's a journey so I have those in there. I don't use those now personally for myself, but I have. And I learned that chocolate itself, the actual cacao, okay, from the pod, okay? I'm not talking about what's been processed and heated and cooked and whatever the yes. heck, okay, with sugar, okay, actually has enzymes and stuff we need and that is good for us. And so oh, yeah. I have recipes in there for that yes in in, in central america and mexico 
And in my country, we have the cacao beans and um, you make cho uh, hot chocolate from it. You just make it. Well, it's delicious. When I, when I first saw the, I don't know how many people know this, but cacao grows in a pod sort of shaped like this, sort of, okay? And they hang from a branch, which is really interesting. They start green and then they kind of turn yellowish. And when they have little brown on them, they're pretty much ripe. And so I did not know what they looked like inside because I've never seen one. So I cut off the end, kind of pointy, and the other end, and it's gooey. It's this gooey stuff that covers it. And I thought, yeah. And so I took it out. I have a dehydrator because for something to be raw, the enzymes have to be alive. And the reason you want them alive is that's what gives you the nutrition. Okay. okay? The living enzymes. That's why we're vegan. And so I have a dehydrator. Yes, I brought all this stuff with me. And <laughs> so I set it for 110 degrees. I think the enzymes died about 115, but I want to make sure. So I do it at 110 and then I dehydrate and move them around and break them up and all that for about two, three days. And then I use them and it's still raw and it makes really good stuff, yes. really good stuff. And the flavor, um, the flavor is, is like totally different. Without, it is, without, it's very different. Yes. And people will think that it's probably bitter because it doesn't have sugar. But it's not. It's not. No, big. no, because whatever that stuff is, it has its own little sweetness. Yes. Do you want me to fast? Give a quickie recipe. Sure. Okay, so I'm going to do this fast. So don't look for measurements. You want measurements? Get the book. Vim Vigor Vitality Vegan. But here's how I make. Okay, I call it mustard. I eat it every single day. I told you I like chocolate, and I also need protein. So mustard is made with about three cups, if you have it, of coconut water. If you don't have coconut water, okay, then I use the natural Congo water 9.5. You use the best water you can get. And then I do uh, a good big handful or so of the cacao. If you don't have the actual cacao, then go and buy at your health food store. It'll say raw organic cacao nibs. And I swear it's raw. I can't swear to any of that. Okay. Um, if you, I can't, I don't know. I mean, yeah. I don't know. And if you can't get that, then just get the powder. Don't get the stuff mixed with sugar. You're not going to get the yeah, right the thing. Powder, and yeah. then don't complain to anyone because I'm telling you, get, get as much as you can, the real stuff. I use about six dates, take the pits out. I get those dates rather than the pitted ones because the pitted ones dry out and I'm not a fan. So raw dates, because I don't know what else they may have done to them and still wash them because I read, I don't even want to say the things I read that's in some of our food because just gross. Okay. And then I use a little bit, maybe a little cap full of, uh, what is it? Of almond extract. You can use vanilla extract. I like almond extract. And so what did I say? About a little cap full. They have like okay. a little cap. So it's the dates. The cacao, the liquid, uh, th that. Uh, oh, and the nuts, the nuts. The best one is made with cashew. And so I soak a full cup of the, I use as best I can, organic um, raw cashews. And soak it for about five hours, drain the water and use it. I'll use every kind of nut when I make it so that I'm getting the different nutrition of all the different nuts. The creamiest, and to me, the tastiest is cashew, okay? So you put it all in a Vitamix because that will really mix it. And then you start blending it up and get it till it's nice and creamy. And then I put it in like some kind of container, put it in the refrigerator. It firms up. Oh, my God, it is so good. And I serve it in little cups with either... Pumpkin, awesome. nice stuff is raw organic with pumpkin seeds, with sunflower seeds, with blueberries. Blueberries are very important. Some banana. Oh, oh and I eat that it every sounds day for good. breakfast. Every single day. So I think I'm eating, it looks like and tastes like dessert. It's actually protein laden because yes. of the nuts. It is pure protein. It is, 
it's delicious. Oh. So there's your recipe. Thank you. And yes, okay. it's in the book. You're welcome. Thank you. Now that we're there, would you like to do the, the breathing attunement? Breathing attunement? I was going to do a longer one, so I'm going to do a short one. This is something anyone can do. I'm going to explain it, and then I'm going to guide you. Hi, I'm very happy to know you are here watching our podcast today. It is an honor to be featuring so many entrepreneurs on the journeys of their inside voice, their accent that is not an accident. And we want to reach out more people like you who are creating a better world of diversity, inclusiveness, equity, and belonging. So please take a moment to hit the subscribe button below like and share to others and if even if you want to leave a comment that would be nice thank you for your support and now back to the episode one can do i'm going to explain it and then i'm going to guide you okay. what you're going to be doing is taking an inhalation to a slow count of four you're going to hold the breath to a slow count of four you're going to exhale to a slow count of four you're going to hold that to a slow count of four. We're going to do that three times. So I'm going to guide you. Usually I send energy and all this stuff, but I'm not sure what our timing is. So I want to make sure we get everything we want to get in here. We're good. We're good on We're good. time. Yeah. Okay. So can I, I'm just going to send energy to everyone. So I'm going to take a moment and okay. just send healing energy. I'm a healer. Okay. This is what I do. Okay, I'm going to lift my frequency. And when I say that I'm sending energy, I call it the energy of light. People ask, why have I been called the transformational goddess of light? Because the guides gave me that name. Okay, I am. Okay, in this day and age, I'm she, her. I'm be whatever you are. Okay, so I'm goddess vibration and born cancer, that's for sure. And up level goddess frequency of light because I every day. Every day I call on it every single day. And do I think that's part of why I have this energy? Yes. And I send it out every day to specific people like my family and to a bunch of other people and to the world, to the world. So I'm going to take a moment. I'm going to send healing energy to your heart. If you don't want it, just say you don't want it. Nobody forcing this on you. And then I'm going to guide you. So allow this to happen. Really go with it. You too. Really go with it. Now take in a nice deep breath and inhale. Hold. Exhale. Hold. Inhale. Hold. Exhale, hold, inhale, hold, exhale, hold, sit there quietly, experience yourself and how you feel. And when you feel ready at your own pace, you can slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and toes, slowly begin to move your body, slowly move your head, little stretch. And when your head is upright on your neck, 
facing forward. When you feel ready, gently, slowly, and easily open your eyes. Notice how you feel. Peaceful. Yeah. This is a very short-ish breathing attunement. Anybody can do this. And I do this too. So if ever practice this every single day. Refrain from waiting till some emergency happens. Do this every day. This is part of your wellness process. Now people are using the term self-care. So this is part of your self-care process. And I spell self, capital S, little s, E-L-F. And that stands for capital S, soul, essence, self, little s, ego, personality, self, because you're all of it. Yes. And because we're still on the earth, all of it has to be dealt with. And in terms of, many of you may have heard of the the earth is changing, the two earths moving to the higher frequency. Hold on, more water. And drink if water. You want, yes. Water. So if you're wondering, what do you do to get to the new earth? Keep raising your frequency. Keep dealing with the issues. Don't think, eh, it's from. If it's there, it's there. Allow yourself to process it. If you don't have integrity, your energy is going to break. Okay, it's just not going to hold up. And if you're not honest and authentic with yourself and bring that to the world, your energy is not going to be the same. It just yeah. doesn't work. Okay. And can people tell? Well, people that are highly attuned can tell. Others, I'm not sure what they can tell. Honestly, I don't know. But people, we generally know because we are an intuitive species, some of us more than others. So I am taking care of us. And interestingly enough, the universe is giving me what I need as I need it to be able to both live my life and take care of this situation. So whatever it is you might find in your life that you think, eh, nobody's going to know, you know, yes. you know. So whatever might need to be quote unquote, cleaned up, rebalanced, whatever, do what you can to have it happen. Do you expect to do it overnight? I don't. <laughs> have some patience and kindness to yourself as you go through this and allow the process to occur. And yes, when you do meditations and prayer and affirmations and calling in, manifesting reality, ask for the support and feel it happening with me. Part of how finances come my way, I'm an artist. I can't show you right now, okay, because I'm moving. Okay, I am a clairvoyant. I do sessions. I have courses. I have books. And who knows what the next thing is? I don't know. I'm painting rocks here in Costa Rica. They're called frequency songs. And they literally help balance someone and uplift their frequency. And they're real. They're not plastic. They are rocks, piedras, okay? And in Spanish, people ask me to call it piedras preciosas, which means precious stones. Oh. So find whatever your thing is that you love. I love what I do. I absolutely love what I do. And allow yourself to find how to monetize some of it and continue. And do we all want to work all the time? No, I don't. <laughs> I totally get the generations that like, I don't want to work all the time. I've never wanted to work all the time. Okay, I'm not an earth sign. My moon's in Virgo, but I'm a Cancerian. But when you work, put your heart and soul into it. Do it the best you can, whatever it is. Do the best you can. Don't just flop it off. Because that's your integrity. That's, your, that's, that's how your being is. And when you do that, you actually get more joy and more oomph out of life and whatever it is you might be completing whether you even know you're completing anything could be a karmic thing 
Um, genetic karmic patterning, by the way, is what the guide, did I explain that? The guides gave me that term years ago. Um, God, in 1995, wow. And it's whatever stuff one may have inherited, attitudes, belief systems, good, bad, or indifferent, and it's all of it, okay, from the people that you genetically came from, as well as what you may have been in past parallel lives, because we do have parallel universes, okay? That's a whole other conversation. And if you want to know more about physics, go follow Nassim Harriman and look at his course, resonancescience.org, which I am going through. And it'll take a while, unless you speak physics, and allow yourself to learn. So when you do this stuff, and you clear it, including the GKP genetic karmic patterning, you start releasing all this barf, okay? Racism, sexism, all of those isms. That's why I wrote a couple of years ago, whenever I wrote it, Raising Race Consciousness. And there were people who asked me and they literally said, what do you know? You're a white woman. What do you know about racism? I actually know quite a bit, okay? Because one, I live on the earth. Two, I, once I left um, my family's home and completed college, I moved to the city and I lived my multiracial, multicultural, multi, multi, multi life. And New York is pretty okay. multi, okay? Yes. A lot. And um, my daughter's biracial. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying you have to do that. It's my life, okay? Yeah. So I touch on a lot of that. I have friends and clients who are, what are the right words? Non-binary who identify as them, they, them, he, her, she. I want new words, by the way. I want completely new words because the words we have now are way, way, way too limiting. And as Pluto gallivants through Aquarius, it's gonna go back to Capricorn in September to November 19th, and then it goes way into Aquarius and stays there for 19 to 20 years. Oh. Folks, we are going to be having changes on this planet a lot. Neptune changes sign the next year and Uranus, I think it's two years later. So the outer planets are changing signs all within a couple of years. This is unique to the earth. So people's mentalities, ways of being are going to be changing. You don't have to like or even know anything about astrology. I do, okay? And there's people who know even more. So I learn from them. So allow yourself to learn. Don't think you have to know everything because forget that, okay? There's always more. And allow that to happen. And then you grow. And by the way, that's one way to stay eternal and not get old. When you think, I know it all. There's nothing. Baby, baby, baby. Then you're not going to grow. There's no way for anything to go, okay? It doesn't mean. And then how will you deal with all the new generations coming? And there's always, there's always a new generation coming. It doesn't stop at a certain point. Our species continues. And then you can relate to people because you're being real. They're being real. You have stuff to learn and teach and share. Everybody benefits. Okay, I'm not sure how I got on that. I'm following the guidance. No, I love it. it. I love it. Then this is this is why I wanted to be with you today because I knew whatever somebody <laughs> needs out there is gonna be said today. <laughs> Thank you. But yeah. So by the way, if you take the course, isn't freedom? You get the book and all of that kind of stuff. And you can yes. register on the website. I've got a new guy helping me. Um, I'm not the techie. And give thanks for that, okay? But I've got a great guy, and we will help you. And it doesn't matter where you are. Yes, it's in English. I do not yet have any of that translated into Spanish. Um, I think one can do it through Google. I am still learning how to do it on an email, never mind all the rest of that stuff. <laughs> and my stuff, my stuff is extremely comprehensive in the sense that, yes. what are the right terms? I am one of these very content rich persons, okay? So you could take my course over and over and over again, and you'll find new stuff in it that you didn't see before. By the way, once you pay and you get the course, you keep it. I don't take it back. So you can do it over and over and over again. 
And people have told me that I laugh at this. Did you read more stuff? No, <laughs> no, I didn't. I wouldn't even know how it's on the internet. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. Okay. But you'll get more stuff and you'll go deeper. Yes. So that nobody has to be stuck. Nobody. I used to have an overweight issue because in my teen years, I ate my feelings, okay? And I like carbs. And although my mom bought healthful food, there was still some white flour, although we ate mostly rye bread. And it was the real rye bread, not the white bread with a dye in it, okay? So um, yeah, this is part of, part, that's why my accent is no accident. <laughs> anyway, that kind of thing, yes, yes. And this, so allow yourself to grow. If you have to let go of something, let go. Sometimes we have to let go of people, sometimes for a particular time, sometimes for a longer time, because sometimes there's a toxicity. And if somebody, including you, including me, does not want to work on whatever their thing is, you have to, somebody may not want to deal with that. They may not know how. I know someone who doesn't know how to hang, handle anger. How do you live in this world and not, how to hand, not know how to handle anger? A lot of people don't know how. So it builds up and they explode. Uh -huh. Or they walk away from something rather than discussing how to handle the situation in a peaceful manner. I don't need to mention, and I'm not going to go into detail on this, how many uh, non-peaceful conflict resolutions are going on on the planet right now. Do we need them? Not in my opinion, but if people don't know how to clear the past, and all of this has karmic stuff in the past, all of it, every single one. Yeah. And they don't, and they keep propagating and propagating. That's not the new earth. And it's not what our species is meant for. In fact, Nassim Harriman and all their studies on ancient cultures and blah, 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 blah. We are not competitive by nature. We are cooperative by nature. By nature and to yeah. really, really, really flourish cooperation way 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 surpasses competition because we help each other and since each and every human being has something unique that he she they or whatever other pronouns might pop up may have to offer and grow we evolve from each other and with each other one of the reasons i do podcasts is because i actually have some wisdom to share i actually have stuff to learn and if I don't share what well, I have it, what I there's no point in hoarding it. That's just ridiculous. So I share as best I can and grow I as best I can. And I and I and I love the, the wisdom that you bring forward. I love all the all all these things that you're talking about. And I want to concentrate a little bit on the isism. Because do you have a special course that you give people? You are you mentioned it very briefly, but you help people that has the isms. So yes. Yes. let's expand a little bit on that. What is okay. it for who it is? It's for anyone. There are people who have said they don't need it because it's done to them. Well, surprise. That means you have to release some of that junk that's been done. I have three online courses at the moment. The first one, which I like to start with, but I'll just do those and then I'll get to the ISM course. First one's the Morph course, and it's called Morph into the Magic of Self-Love, Soul, Essence, Self, and Ego, Personality, Self. And yes, it's, it's audreynow.com slash morph, because if you don't love yourself, you're going to have a hard time loving anybody or allowing yourself to be loved. It's the process. Okay, the second course, when I finished that one and looked around, I said, what needs to be done now? And it was all the time with the sex stuff and Me Too and all this that, that stuff. So the second course, the full name is Sexuality, Sensuality, Spirituality, Stupendous Sex, Your Intimacy, 
healing exuberance course because people can have issues galore in that area. So that one's Audrey now, A-U-D-R-Y-E-N-O-W dot com slash sex. And then the ISM course. The full title is ISM Freedom. Be free of the causes and effects of racism, sexism, and other isms. Now, do you know, and so that's Audrey now, A-U-D-R-Y-E-N-O-W dot com slash ISM, I-S-M. So do you know anyone that hasn't been affected by any of this? I don't. I don't either. Everybody has been affected. In one in, way, shape, form, or another. Or, or has done it. <laughs> yes, all of that. So everyone, and I'm not even going to say virtually, I'm going to say everyone, mm -hmm. benefits from this. And if a group wants to take it, let me know. I'll create a spell. Well, I won't because I don't know how to do the internet. But my internet guy will create a special way to do that so you can get a special price. Okay, just let me, call me, 917-494-0628. I do have an email, AudreyNow at gmail.com. Do I look at it every day? No. So if you don't get a response right away, and in Costa Rica, the internet is like this, and I'm moving, so I'm not sure quite what the situation will be, but I will have it together. And Mercury retrogrades April 1st till the 25th. So that's, that's an interesting phenomenon at the moment. And then there's the major solar eclipse at 19 degrees Aries on April 8th. So if you've got anything there, let's see, from, let's see, it's going to be 19, from around 17 to 21st, uh, 21 degrees in a fire sign, you will feel it. And if it is in, uh, let's see, what square is fire? In a water sign, it could be a kind of challenge inside yourself. If it's in an earth sign, it may not affect you in quite that same way, because that's kind of depending on which one it is. But fire, you'll feel it. Um, air. Uh, let's see. So that would be a water little square because Aries and depending on which other of the signs, because there's several water signs, air signs, fire signs, depends how it would affect you. So be aware of this. So you know how to handle yourself. Um, I mean, it is going to sextile my Mars. So hopefully I'll be energized. Okay. Sextile is cool. And that my, no, wait a minute. My Mars, it's going to try my Mars. My Mars is Leo. So that, that, as much as I can look forward to an eclipse, I'm looking forward to see what happens, but become aware of these kinds of things. But in the meanwhile, about the course, uh, and people say, don't guarantee your courses. I do, I do. I guarantee that if you do any of my courses as they are designed to be done, you will grow. And I mean that. And the courses are rich. And the only, I mean, there's a lot in them. And the only part you have to do, as I put a lot, the only part you have to do is listen to the half hour audio, half hour audio daily, or skip a few days if you feel you must, but keep going with it. Don't stop because I guarantee nothing if you stop and complete it. And at the end of the half hour audio, there's about 10 minutes that I give you to practice whatever I've spoken about. And can you do more? Yes, <laughs> yes, you can do a lot more, okay? But that's there for you. So that's the minimal amount to be done. And if you're in any kind of pain or anger or rage or any of that, like, do we have to look at the various non-peaceful conflict resolutions on the world to notice where those things exist? They are there, okay? Or in any country, that's there. So as we each clear, and don't wait for your neighbor to clear, your brother, your sister, your husband, your mother, whatever, don't wait for them. You take your own responsibility and do this, literally. And will I help you get the course? You do have to pay some money. They are not free, okay? A lot of work went into this stuff. A lot, a lot, a lot. And still, because people are helping me do this. I am not the techie. And again, I say this regularly, give thanks for that, okay? 
and allow me to do what I'm actually born to do. And then you can grow and evolve. And I know some people think that they're embarrassed to take a course. No, no, no. Lifelong learning is part of what keeps you alive and well on the planet. Yes. And if you've read anything, anything about people who have amassed success in any way, they are learning stuff. It doesn't end. You can learn differently or in different ways, but, uh -huh. and that's Excellent. part of what makes stuff interesting, by the way. And and I love that. And then in, in, it is super nice that you have them off or offer them unlimited. So anytime people want to get back to them, they can get back to them. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's that. yours. Yeah. Yes. You can just do it over and over again. And I'm telling you, you will find more stuff in it because I put a lot of stuff in. You'll get a video. You will get, what do I call all the sections? You get the audio, that's the have to. You get suggestions about how to be. You get whatever I wrote about the topic for that particular day. And I'm a writer. Okay, so you'll get stuff. And it goes on and on and on. You'll get an affirmation. You'll get, you'll get a breathing attunement. You will get all of this with the course uh, that's amazing so everybody go to audreynow.com and I will put all the information in the notes so that you can contact her Thank you. and then you can um, look for these courses Audrey we are getting to the end mm -hmm. um, we share how they contact they can contact you would you like okay. to leave the Oh, go ahead and, and repeat it. Go ahead and repeat how they can contact you. Okay, so first let me say, I designed it as a six-week course. You can do it how you want to do it, okay? The day, however you want. Um, you can always call me, 917-494-0628. I'm on WhatsApp. It doesn't always work. I have no explanation of that. Definitely on the internet. My email is AudreyNow. A U D R Y E N O W at gmail.com. And if you write Maritz's show, my accent is no accident in big letters in the subject line, I will notice it. Okay. And I will for sure answer. And will you get a special price? Yes, you will for catching me through Maritza for sure. Okay. And through the website. There's, and I have someone help me with that because I don't always know where to find it, which is why I don't do tech. So the website is Audrey now, A U D R Y E N O W dot com. And although I'm on social media, I don't remember my passwords. So <laughs> this is the most embarrassing. This is true. Okay. And so I'm going to be getting help with that. But I, what am I on? Facebook. I'm yes, on a bunch of things. Yes, I'm on Instagram, Facebook, Instagram, Instagram, uh, YouTube. Um, let's um, okay, so I mean, I am there. But if you want me directly, email me. Give me a moment to get to it because I'm not glued to the computer, except sometimes um, I will answer phone calls when I can. Um, if there's a way to believe in message or send me a text, I am so-and-so. I saw you... With Maritza, <laughs> um, da 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 da. I will answer. Yes. I will answer. Now yes, people there know is, there are people. There is a special free gift that you will get if you yes, say yes, yes. saw you in my accent is no accident. Uh, you will yes. get a free gift from from Audrey. Okay, so if you would like, I have four books. First one is called the Mother's Manual. A Spiritual and Practical Guide to Child Rearing and Motherhood. You can get a free sampler of the book, which will also have a piece of art in it on the website. Then there's Vim Viga Vitality Vegan, free sampler on the website. I don't remember which recipes are in it, so but it's in there, something. The next one is, um, what if you are, and life is miraculous, 
and you'll get a free sampler with a little piece of art because it's an ABC affirmation art coloring book. And the last book, and yes, free sampler is, uh, what is it? Raising Race Consciousness, Healing Racism, Sexism, and Other Isms. And you'll get the free sampler for that. And you can take it from there. And each free sampler gives you enough information to really benefit you from actually reading it and looking at it. You can download it or whatever. It's on the website and however you do it. And yes, if you print anything, please, 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 please buy the copy paper that is recycled, hopefully post-consumer recycled paper. Do your part. Does it cost a little more money? Yes. And in the long run, it saves your life. Thank you, Audrey, so much for being with us today. Can I give a blessing? Can I do yes. like a thank you? Okay, hold it. Yes. Let me see what they have. Oh, it's very simple. Remember to love yourself. Even when you're going through whatever, 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 and you might feel less than whatever, 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 go right into your heart. Know you're made of love. Know that you are a sparkle of divinity. You are a sparkle of divinity. Take that sparkle and shower yourself with it inside and out and throughout and allow that to extend beyond you at least 10 feet to your Merkaba, your energy body. Allow that. You are valuable. You are worth it. Thank Beautiful. you so much. Beautiful. Thank you, Audrey, so much. Um, you actually finished with the, the, the sentence that I always finish, which is, remember, you are loved. You came to this world because you were loved to love one another and be loved. Thank you, everybody. Yes. Till next time. Bye. Bye. Hi, it's Maritza here. If you like this episode of My Accent is No Accident podcast and would like to listen more like this, subscribe wherever you're listening to it or watching it. Leave us a nice review and share with your friends, family, and network. Thanks for listening. Hello.